Nigerian journalist Abdel Sope has shared comments on playing 100% Ghanaian music and I'm here to share his comment with you in this episode of What's GH. Please stay tuned and subscribe. My name is Great Jesse. According to Ade Sope on Hit FM, he supports play 100% Ghanaian music. The minute I saw the video last week, I posted it because I saw Samini. Oh, you posted it? Oh, the first, I, I was the first person to post that video because I saw Samini, I saw Black Sheriff, I saw Small God, and I listened to it. Reggie Rockstone was. Sorry. Reggie Rockstone. So I posted it and said, hi, I agree with this statement because I understood that local content needed more exposure. When we come home in December, it is not only to come and meet our families and enjoy parties. For people like us that are dedicated to promoting the culture, the first thing I want to do is listen to what everybody is listening to. When we come in December, we want to hear what people are jamming to. So when we go back to our cities in America or Europe, that's how we promote these artists. He further explained how he feels about Nigerian music dominating our music industry here in Ghana. How do you feel? Do you feel proud or disappointed? So, initial feeling is pride that, wow, you know, they're playing Rema. When I was in the cab yesterday, oh, I heard Rema and I heard one other song. I was like, that's amazing. They're playing Rema and stuff here in this country. What is the first feeling it shows in Nigerian is warmth. Because when you hear your music, in a different country, that also means that you're being accepted here. Right. It's a feeling of warmth. That's number one. But when you dig deeper and you understand that a lot of these slots sometimes are being taken away from the local content, then you also have to say, what is going to be done for that? According to him, promoting local content does not place a ban on foreign content. Championing local content does not necessarily mean blocking foreign content. I repeat, championing local content does not mean blocking foreign content. It means championing local content first. It is ludicrous that you would have to promote Jay-Z and Tupac when you have Idris Abdul Karim <laughs> and Mode 9 at home. It's crazy. And anybody that argues with you on those simple statements already needs a different level of education. Mm -hmm. Adeshope went ahead and mentioned the need for us to promote our local content. Without promoting the music back home and pushing it on radio hard, the fans will not get used to listen, listening to it when they're in traffic going to school, listening to it when they're coming back from work and then starting to request DJs at parties, at clubs to play that song that they like. Then these are the wheels that start to turn and change everything to make sure that the popularity of the music goes up. But if you don't make those laws, we instantly get drawn to what we're comfortable with. He also mentioned how the great fella and the likes of Amachi Dede became very famous and iconic through local promotions. We've been conditioned for over 40 years to listen at a level to international content on radio. As big as your fella Kuti and uh, Amachi Dede and all these people were, they had to touch the people locally. It wasn't as if they had the big media platform supporting them. It was the local movement that made those names icons. True. <laughs> so we have to always remember those things. And, and again, it's about championing local content. For me, um, that is priority. That should never be seen as a, a movement to block foreign content. 
Right, so this comment shared by Nigerian journalist Ade Shopper. According to him, he supports play 100% Ghanaian music. We need to promote our local music, our local content, more than foreign content. This is a comment shared by a Nigerian. Please share your comment with me in the comment section below and comment pass by Ade Shopper. And as well, continue to follow me for more entertainment news updates. My name is Great Jesse.